Hey everyone, happy Saturday. I'm going to do my makeup and skincare. If you're new to my channel, my pharmacy beauty influencer, they now call us just influencers, lifestyle influencers, pharmacies, lifestyle products. We have makeup, skincare, hair care, essential oils, men's products, cleaning products health products so we're just called pharmacy influencers since we have a wide range of products i did my skin is super dry so i did the calendula face mask today it's whole face mask try to hydrate my skin i'm going to do Pro to fit my shadow primer. I'm going to take this flat brush. I washed a bunch of my eye brushes. Just going to dry it off. Hi dog. Thanks for joining. How are you? I've been with pharmacy for over a year. Okay, I'm gonna use the primer. It comes in this cute little jar. I'm gonna do a full eye look. So I want this all one tone and even. As you can see, I have put in more mature eyes. And I'm lifting. I want to make sure I get in everywhere, not miss any spots. Since my eyes are hidden. No, the other eye. Doug and I are going to run a couple errands. It's been a lazy day. So run a couple errands, then come home. Have dinner. Again, I'm lifting. I don't want to miss city areas. Okay, so that's the eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna take the Aqua Moisturizer with Hyaluronic Acid. Hyaluronic Acid is good for dry skin. My skin is combo. I'm gonna skip the hydro drops today because I did the Calendula face mask. The hydro drops also have hyaluronic acid, but I'm skipping it since I did the mask. The Calendula is for dry, sensitive skin. It is my favorite mask. So 
So that's the aqua and it's soft like butter. All the moisturizers are really soft like butter. Um, my neck, don't forget your neck. You can use your regular uh, face moisturizer on your neck. And I did, because the mask sits in a little package and it's drenched in it. So I took a lot of the extra the product from the face mask and put it all on my neck and here. I want to take care of your neck too. Okay, I want to take the tea tree. Tea tree is good for acne con and combo skin. I left it all dry. I'm going to take Metallic Sapphire Express Eye Pencil. All our pencils are now testable. We don't have the sharpened pencils anymore. So I grabbed extra before they were discontinued. Because a few colors were discontinued. All the twistable pencils are very easy to apply. They literally glide right on. They're very soft. I'm going to be using the Loon Rose eyeshadow palette. It's so gorgeous. comes with the mirror. I'm going to dry the brush off that I want. I'm going to be using brush number six eyeshadow brush, still just drying it off. Let it get a bit damp, but not super, super damp. Okay, I'm going to do this color. I love the glitters. I like matte colors. This is a perfect palette. Plus the two glittery shimmery ones and then two matte neutrals. I'm going pretty far up to my eyebrows because I want it seen. So my hooded eyes. And I'm using the darker color up top in the crease here. I'm going to repeat on the other eye. I'm going to let sure I don't miss and then I'm gonna stamp to keep the glitter on glitters can be finicky so I'm gonna stamp I want to prevent follow the glitter repeat stamp I'm 
I'm going to take number 12 cream shading brush. So it's a big set of brushes. And this still will be on the ball on my link. I'm going to try number 12 off. I'm going to go in with the later one now, still the Loon Rose eyeshadow palette. This will go on my eyelid. I am going to lift again, make sure I get in everywhere. I am stamping it on there to prevent follow and keep the glitter on. I have taken, so be respectful of that. Don't be a creep. I don't do warnings, I just block. I don't give chances, no. Nope. If you're rude, you hit on me and you're not respectful, you're blocked instantly. I don't have time for that. Okay, I'm going to do more of the tea tree face cream.
puppy dog. Thank you. Okay, mascara. I'm going to do 3D mascara. Unfortunately, it's just continue. We have full blast that's in replacement that's similar to the bristle size of the brush. I don't use an eyelash curler. It kind of wrecks my eyelashes and crinkles them. So I just go over it with mascara. And I just comb through and I'll hold it to give them a lift. Kind of getting low on me side. I love 3D mascara. I'll have to do a little bit of touch up, but uh, it's an easy fix. Okay, I'm going to fix the eyeliner. Okay, now back with the moon rose. Grab my brush in. I usually just finish the mascara and let it dry and then I'll fix it. Easy fangs. Now 
channel back. He had a bash. Okay, that's the Moon Rose at Dental Palette and Reading Mascara. I'm going to take the My Face Makeup Remover. It removes makeup really well. It's greasy, so I don't like using it on my entire face to remove my makeup. So I choose to just use it when I'm putting on makeup to clean up my eye look I love using the Sensi makeup remover wipes when I'm removing all of my makeup off at the end of the night it's not greasy at all I have water on this end. I'm just going and making that diagonal. I'm going to do eye cream. I'm going to do the Lumi Radiance Brightening Eye Cream. It's good for dark circles, sunspots, and freckles. I use this day during the day. I use the Age of Versus Nighttime. And when I'm using the Lumi, I only put it under here. I'm doing my makeup. So nighttime, I'll do here and my lid increase. That way, my eyelids get moisture. Got some skincare to them. And you only need a little. And I'm using my ring finger because it's more gentle. And my index finger because this is a delicate area of your eyes here. I'm gonna let that dry. I have the lip conditioner on my lips. My lips are dry and pukey. Okay, I'm going to grab primer. I'm going to grab the matte one. So, primer is done once your skincare is done. And it's done before foundation to smooth fine lines and wrinkles. And to prime your face to keep your rest of your makeup on. So, we want to do it going on a downward motion. I'm in America, the land of the free. Why don't you wear a muzzle on your mouth? Thank you, dog. 
I don't do politics here. I don't do the mask stuff. Like, I'm in a room by myself, people. Let's get real. I'm sick of this. Stop. I'm in America, the land of the free. So keep your stupid political opinions and shove them you know where, where the sun doesn't shine. Again, no warnings, you're just blocked. No politics here. This is makeup and skincare and lifestyle products. No politics. I'm wearing makeup. Why am I gonna wear a mask wearing makeup? You're on crack. And expect me to not sugarcoat stuff here either. If you want sugar coating, go to Willy Wonka. So primer is applied downward motion to smooth fine lines and wrinkles. I'm not doing, I usually like to do this one, the illuminating one, but I'm all red. My hormonal acne is annoying. I don't want to showcase that. So I'm just going in with this clear matte primer to prime my face. I'm gonna let that soak in. And then I'm gonna put my CC foundation on. going through these ridiculous people that comment. Oy they people. Okay, I'm going to do CC foundation it's my favorite. I have the old bottle and formula. The new formula has 25 SPF in it and skincare ingredients. I'm trying to just use up this bottle. CC also hides redness and imperfections. So it is my absolute favorite foundation. It's pretty much full coverage.
I do under my eyes pretty much last because I want the eye cream to dry so why let it soak in you can use a brush you can use a sponge for your foundation I just prefer to use my fingers I feel like the sponge just soaks it all up I know my hands are absorbing it too, but it's like so much product just gets absorbed in the sponge. That I personally think it's wasteful. So this has redness and imperfections. Now, if you were to do concealer and you have moment your eyes, I highly recommend that you do foundation first. I don't do any underpainting. So you would do your foundation first, let it dry, then concealer. And if you look at it, you like to use a setting powder, then I'll set it. Or you could skip foundation if you have issues wearing concealer foundation and it just not looking good. You could skip foundation under your eyes altogether and just do concealer. I don't have problems doing concealer and foundation yet. Not too. But no. Unless we age our skin changes. So yeah, I recommend foundation and then your concealer. And then if you like to set it with a setting powder. But make sure to let each product dry first. gonna let that one area dry and soak in with CC. So that CC foundation is my favorite. We do have three other types of foundations. So we have four total. I'm going to go in with translucent loose setting powder. I want to set my eyeliner since I have just with getting older eyeliner doesn't like to stay long. It likes to smudge so I set it. And it's white and you just blend it in. So that's setting powder. I'm going to take the three in one face palette. I have the old one. The colors are a slight change slightly um, and still comes with a mirror and the new packaging. And this will has a magnetic open and shut. This is the old one. I'm just using it off. So it's got blush, highlighter, contour. Sorry, bronzer. It's bronzer here. Where it brushes. I'm going to take number two, blush brush. Take this blush, 
So I'm one color. I'm gonna add some color back to my face. I'm stippling. So I'm bringing it up to my hairline. Oh, that's right. I wanted to do. I just wanted to do. I did a before photo. I just wanted to do an after. So bringing color back to my face. And I'm stippling, I don't wanna wipe off the makeup I have on underneath, so I wanna stipple it. And okay. Taking the lip conditioner off. Okay, I'm gonna do a highlighter in the middle here. Highlighting is done to draw attention to a certain part of your face. I don't want to do a lot. Also, I believe less is more. I do like doing the C shade but I'm not going to because of the blemishes. I don't want to draw a lot of attention because like you can still see the bumps. So I'm gonna do it here. I do like doing the inner corners of my eyes sometimes too. Okay, I'm going to do baby doll lipstick. They are a vanilla scent. I can't see. I do like I do this. I can get in here. I know some of you don't like to do that. I don't like styling and it being my lip color. I'd go do it in there. So this is liquid lipstick, baby doll. Our lipstick, it's just one color apply and you're done. And we do have lip liners and a few shades. I rarely do lip liner. I just want the color on. Sometimes I will do like, it's been a while since I've done it, but sometimes I'll line with one lipstick and do another. Okay, so this is my look for the day. Reminder, I no politics in here whatsoever please be respectful i have a boyfriend i don't give warnings i'm just gonna block you please be respectful have a good day